Hi everybody, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with another video. A little bit different, we're doing a voiceover today, but um, you know, just the same as, a, as a, any other video. So we're doing illusion cards. Now, these are really quick, but really effective. So I've got a six by six card base here um, and then I've got a white top layer and I've took some octagon dies and what I'm doing is I've took layering sizes and two layering sizes and I'm just cutting them out of the card um, so the larger one I've cut from the black card sorry the white card the smaller layering one I've cut from the uh, black card so I'm kind of measuring here but it's not really working because I need to cut strips and they are really, really thin. So all I've done is basically put some black card into my trimmer and just trim them. And as you can see there, that's because it's going to give a kind of effect where it may look like you've added white pieces to the card or I can't really describe it. You'll see what I mean, but it, it's very, very effective and I'm just getting the kind of size there that I need and it sort of looks like a little bit of a pinwheel in a way um, but like I say you, you will see in a minute but just make sure that they are the same size as the black layer that you have peeping out and um, that's how it looks most effective okay so I've got four strips all together and I'm gluing them on. Um, going to glue them onto the black, you know, layer that's sticking out of the um, the card there. But yeah, really, really effective, but so simple to do. So I'm going to glue the white layer onto the black layer and then I can start attaching the strips now here I'm just cutting any bits that are hanging over the hanging over the edge because you know we're not we're not going to see any of that anyway so I'm just trimming those ones off and then just a little bit of glue you can just um glue them little strips around so when when it's finished it, it does look really effective um I think you're sort of not really sure whether you've you know, cut like separate white panels and glued them on or, you know, it just gives a little bit of an illusion, um, which obviously the video is a illusion cards, but you could you do this in different colours. You could maybe even actually use different colours like on one card. I just think it's a really, really effective little technique. And it does remind me of a pinwheel as well. So, so the black card base that's what I'm using and I'm going to glue that panel on um, onto there. Now the white cut out, I've kept that to put underneath because I want the card to show through as white underneath that part. Okay, so I kept that bit when I cut it out. And then I'm just taking a neck size layering octagon and I'm just cutting it from this sort of polka dot paper um so I'm just cutting that one out and I want that to be a bit of a feature on the card so that is going to be stuck in the middle but we're still going to see you know the white border around so I've got a stamp set here um I believe it's called art tiles really really pretty um, I may have some of these on my website. I'm not sure if I have any left though, but nevertheless, I'm using this one and I'm just going to stamp it with some black Versamark, but I also heat emboss it with some clear embossing powder um, because you can emboss with this and it just gives a, I think, a more neater sort of glossy finish. We've got a little visitor there. <laughs> So I'm just heat embossing this now. And then, of course, if you want, you could colour it in or but then you can use anything 
that's a good thing about these techniques. You can use anything that you've already got in your stash. So I'm just cutting that out by hand. Really simple to do. And then I'm now just kind of getting, you know, the idea of where I want everything. So I'm putting a black border around this stamped image here just by gluing it onto some black card, leaving a little bit of a border and then just cutting it out with my uh, paper trimmer. And then I'm going to get everything stuck onto it. And then I'm gluing the white circle, sorry, hexa-octagon. Um, I'm gluing that behind there just because, like I said, I want it to show white. So just putting some glue around there and gluing that on, okay? And then I'm popping the, the patterned paper, I'm popping that up on some foam pads. Um, again, that just gives it a little bit more dimension. And then I'm just gluing the whole thing onto my 6x6 card base. And also the stamped image, I'm popping that up on, onto some foam pads. I just think it gives it, you know, a lot more dimension. And the only thing we've got left to do is stamp a sentiment, which I probably should have done before um, I stuck all this on because I struggled a little bit because the popped up image was getting in the way, but I still managed it. So I just took some red ink and I just stamped new beginnings. And I think this is beautiful because you can do it in different colours. Um, you could even use different shapes. You could maybe try it with um, a circle, not, not a circle, but a rectangle, um, a square you know, just experiment. But yeah, absolutely love that. So have a try. All right. Now the next one, this is probably my favorite because it's so simple, but it's so elegant. So again, six by six card base. I'll put the measurements for these on my blog and I've just took a little piece of white card here and I'm just stamping, um, you know, this beautiful sort of stamp on it. I think it's an, an old stamping up one. Um, using some blue ink because I'm keeping it all like blue and white. So I'm gluing it onto a blue piece of card, which just allows for a tiny little border to show all the way around. And then I've got a larger piece of white card, which I'm going to glue it onto the back of that. So in a way, it sort of looks like a little mini picture frame. Um, but very, very elegant. You could do this again, any colour, any stamps you've got. Just get out your stash and see what you can use. So I've got that. I've got a bit of ink on there, so I tried to rub it off with my eraser, but it didn't work. But we end up popping some gems over it to hide it later. So card base, and then I've got a white card front here. So I'm just lay, kind of getting the idea of where I want it. So I'm going to take a ruler and a pencil, and all I'm going to do now is draw a line straight across and this is where we're going to cut the white piece of card now I'm just avoiding the picture because I don't want to get pencil on it but that line you see there now I'm just going to cut straight down it on my paper trimmer so we're just cutting that piece of card into two basically so really simple okay and that's what we end up with and then I'm going to take the blue card base in a minute and I'm just gonna you know get the idea of where I want it all so that's what it's going to be like all right and then I'm going to take just a small square die um as you will see in a minute and I'm cutting it I'm placing it there because I know that's where I want to cut it so it kind of it's going to create like one corner of a frame all right and then I'm going to run that through the die cutting machine. Really, really simple. But when you see it, it looks so effective. So I'm just cutting that out. And.
and you will see here when I start to lay it together and then by using some foam pads we lift the thing up and it just looks so effective it sort of gives an illusion of I don't know what the illusion is if I'm honest <laughs> but it is so effective it's particularly when we have it all together at the end it just looks so so nice so I'm stamping a little sentiment in the corner and then as I said foam pads we only need to put foam pads on the corner there that we've cut in the actual sort of stamped image pop foam pads on them and it just when it lifts it up you can see some of the the blue card underneath and that gives a really really nice effect the big piece there just put that down with glue you you, you can just glue that on flat okay so I'm gluing that down and then I'm going to start and attach um, the foam pieces, the foam bits of paper now. So just taking the backs off them and, and stick attaching them on. But as I said, try this in different colours. It's just so elegant. Really, really elegant. You can see there it just gives it. I think it just gives it a completely different look when you pop it up with the foam pads. And then I'm just attaching the stamped image down and it just looks so beautiful. And yeah, as I said, I got a few little gems and just popped them over the little boo-boo I made with the ink. I seem to be constantly smudging my ink lately. I don't know why. <laughs> but there we go. That is absolutely stunning. So definitely try that one. I think you could do it in any colour you like and any sort of images. So the next one, this is the last one. This is really simple again. I've took a six by six card base and I have got three pieces of paper. Now I'm saying paper because it is, it's only about 120 GSM. All I'm doing is cutting them diagonally. So I'll end up with, um, you know, sort of three three pieces here any colors you like but I've kept them sort of you know red dark red and pink I've got three circles here three layering circles and um, I'm starting with a larger circle and I'm going to cut it out of one of the pieces here this is so simple but again it's another really effective card now the reason I've used a paper is because I didn't want to bulk it up too much with card. So if you've got like more of a thinner card would be better. So I'm putting the next colour under and then the small, the next size down circle and I'm cutting that through there. So you, you can see here that it's going to create like a layered effect. So last colour, smallest circle and then I'm going to run that through as well. But yeah, you can use any colours for this, any any stamps you've got, and it does look really effective. So you can see there, that's the idea. They have like a lay, it sort of looks like in a way a little bit of a rainbow. Um, and I'm just, the idea is to glue them all onto the card. So I've got, what I am going to end up doing here is I've got the smaller circle that I used and I'm going to cut out... Um, a red circle and I'm also going to use the next size up circle which would be the middle size I think and I'm going to cut sorry the small the smaller one and I'm going to cut a white piece from that and that's going to be to stamp my image on so I'm just cutting that one out as well but yeah this is another lovely technique and I have actually got a few more ideas. So if you like this, I may do a part two next week because I've got another few really good ideas. And it's just a brilliant way to use up what we already have. Maybe as you're running out of ideas of what cards to make, try this. And, you know, they are so nice. So you can see there, I'm just gluing them down with a bit of a tape with a tape runner. I don't want any dimension on them. Not too much because... I don't want to bulk the card out a lot. So I've glued them down and that's what we have. So the red and white circle, that's going to be our image in the middle. And again, I'm all I've done for this white circle 
is the same stamp set I used before. Um, I had it still on my desk and I thought, I really like that, so I'm going to use this again. And I just choose a red ink and just stamp it onto the circle. And then I'm going to just attach that on to the red piece. And this piece, I use foam pads, I believe, to, to, um, just to elevate it a bit more, gives it a little bit more dimension. So I'm gluing the, the white piece on flat with glue. But then when I turn it over, I use foam pads to attach it to the card. And again, so simple and easy, but so effective. And then I'm going to get a happy birthday stamp and I'm going to stamp this down on the bottom right hand corner using some, well, using the same red ink. And I do it this time before I glue, before I attach the image on. Okay, so we're going to attach this and that is it. I think I get a few little gems and I just put three around sort of each side, well, around the circle and it just makes it look so pretty. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed these. I hope you'll try them because, you know, I've said it's just whatever you have in your stash already and just have fun with it. But I think they're so simple, but you know, they've turned out to be three of the most elegantest cards they really, really have. So I really hope you'll give it a try. I just think we need more ways to use our stash and use what we have because if you're like me, you'll probably be swimming in the stuff. So there we go. Three gorgeous cards. Check out my blog, all the info will be on there. Um, and I will be back next week. So thanks for watching. Take care. And bye for now.